Hi, this is Scott Vaughn, and in this video I would like to present a quick overview of a Fall 2020 course that I just finished teaching at Montgomery County Community College, the MAT-199 NASA KSP Math and Physics Lab. The purpose of the course was to introduce math and physics principles at an intermediate algebra level and their applications in rocket science as a way to motivate interest in these subjects and inspire students to consider further study and careers in science, technology, engineering, or math. I'll start by saying you don't have to literally be a rocket scientist to find a job at NASA, Lockheed Martin, or SpaceX, or to contribute to furthering humanity's understanding of our place in the universe. And for me, one of the takeaways after teaching this course was a reminder of the many diverse academic and career paths that students could follow that relate to space and space exploration and of all the many ways those paths intersect with furthering the understanding and the improvement of life here at home on Earth. The work we did in the MAT-199 class was to complete most of the exercises from the first two chapters on algebra and pre-calculus from a larger six-chapter workbook that I've written on some of the math and physics of rocket science. By introducing math and physics principles with applications to rocket science, students in this class encountered universal concepts in algebra and precalculus. Math concepts they will surely encounter again later in any STEM field, regardless of their studies. I believe this course has broadened the students' view of both the universality and of the applications of these concepts, and at an early point in their education, and I think it's really important to developing their educational path. I know every student in the class expressed an appreciation and recognition of the value of understanding the applications of these abstract principles, and that this helped focus and motivate them to continue their learning. So, in this class, we studied the algebra of gravity and acceleration, of orbital speed, of kinetic and potential energy. We studied the algebra behind the equations of the conic sections, circles, ellipses, parabolas, and hyperbolas, and how this relates to the paths of planets and moons, artificial satellites, and to the navigation of spacecraft. We also learned about the trigonometry of navigation on Earth and on any other planet or moon, and how this also directly relates to launch azimuth angles and orbital inclinations. For example, the different types of orbits for satellites around the Earth for studying the weather and for navigation, like GPS. This provided lessons on basic principles of trigonometry, and in particular the inverse tangent, inverse sine, and inverse cosine functions. We also study applications of the logarithmic functions to rocket propulsion and to Kepler's laws of planetary motion. Students participated in Zoom discussions on these topics two hours per week and submitted homework assignments from the workbook at the end of each week. And they also completed online lab assignments using the game Kerbal Space Program. In this class, Kerbal Space Program was used as both a graphing calculator and an online lab. It's a fun computer game that provides a model solar system of planets and moons that precisely follows the textbook rules of Newtonian physics. In the game, students can test their own engineering designs and perform real science experiments, and that's exactly what we did. The labs we completed involved computing acceleration and g-force, mechanical energy, angular momentum, eccentricity, orbit inclinations, launch azimuth angles, all from data that was collected in the game. Finally, I'll highlight another valuable aspect of this particular course. I was very fortunate to have a number of guest speakers join the class via Zoom to share some of their expertise and background. First was Mike Aben. He's a YouTube creator who also is a math and physics instructor in Canada. He joined to talk about the mathematics behind delta V budgets and the Hohmann transfer ellipse. The ideas that he presented are the math and physics foundation for how the Apollo astronauts made their trip to the moon in real life. In fact, it's precisely the same math that would explain the path of the Perseverance rover that's currently on its way to explore Mars. So after that, I'm very grateful to Private Division, the publisher of the KSP game, for connecting me with two programmers, Marco and Jay from Squad, the company that originally created the game. Marco and Jay talk to us about the mathematics that runs the game Kerbal Space Program and the mathematics of game programming generally. And that presentation inspired me to really reflect on how this course could be so valuable to computer science students, particularly those interested in game development 
as they are introduced to math principles in this class with clear and meaningful applications that they will surely encounter again in future STEM courses. But I was also impressed by how the KSP class provided an opportunity for students to meet career professionals, to learn about career and education pathways, and to ask questions and to hear recommendations. So thank you very much to Marco and Jay for their time. It was really invaluable. I also had a number of speakers from Lockheed Martin join the class on two different occasions. The first was a programmer at Lockheed in Orlando who works on developing and testing the training software for pilots of the F-35 fighter jet. In other words, a real computerized flight simulator for real jets used by the U.S. military and allies around the world. The presentation was about educational and career paths that can lead to engineering and how these are not always the pathways that you might expect. And we heard a little about work at Lockheed, but I'm not showing clips from that discussion due to Lockheed's security concerns. And instead, this is just video on YouTube of the F-35 in action. Sorry, but if you want to learn more, you'll need the proper security clearance. On a separate occasion, the class had the opportunity to hear a recruiter, programmer, and engineer from Lockheed in a live Zoom chat discuss career and internship opportunities, including their cybersecurity program and Lockheed Space Operations. By the way, there is a Lockheed Space Operations facility nearby our campus in King of Prussia. Again, Lockheed preferred not to record that session for security reasons, but thank you very much to Lockheed Martin for the time they spent with my students and for their continued relationship with Montgomery County Community College. In fact, a number of students from Mon Montgomery County Community College have gone on to find internships and careers with Lockheed Martin. Finally, it was very exciting for me to welcome Scott Manley as a guest speaker in this class in the fall. Scott is a YouTube creator with over a million subscribers whose videos cover all sorts of topics in science, rocket science, and astronomy. I'm a big fan of Scott's work, and I know a lot of my students are too, and it's always fun and educational to hear Scott on any topic. On this occasion, we began with a discussion of launch azimuth and launch site latitudes, and how this relates to orbital inclinations, but it was a broad-ranging conversation that touched on the significance of the SpaceX Starship and international politics of collaborations in space. Many thanks to Scott for his time and contribution to this class. So to conclude, I must say this course was only possible because of generous financial support both from the NASA Pennsylvania Space Grant Consortium and Montgomery County Community College, Thank you to both the NASA Space Grant Consortium and to Monco for making this happen. It's been a truly educational experience for my students and also for me. With that support, we really accomplished a lot in one semester. We studied universal principles of math and physics, of orbital mechanics and rocket propulsion. We studied navigation on Earth and other planets, and the mathematical principles used to reach other planets and moons. And we discussed mission objectives for NASA, SpaceX, Lockheed Martin, and the many diverse academic and career paths that support those objectives. So based on feedback from students in the course, it's clear to me that investment will continue to pay dividends. So thank you very much.